Hello everyone! Christian Louboutin has released new beauty products. The Abracadabra La Palette Face and Eyes. We've got a couple of goodies. We're going to test them out. We're going to experience this together. And let's see what this is all about. Let's go ahead and get started. So this collection is designed in a way where you go step by step and create and design your own little palettes for your face or eyes. You would first start off by picking a refillable case and then your actual refills, whether it be the face or the eyes. And for each category, eyes and face, you have three options to choose from. I started off with one <laughs> each and let's see how we feel about it. You know, you never know what will happen in the future. It could blow my mind and I love it so much. I want them all. But to start off for today and for my bank account, <laughs> I started off with just one of each. One case for each eye and face. So it's a Christian Louboutin kind of day. So I am wearing just nothing lipstick and a little gloss on top. You know, why not? Are we ready to experience? Are we ready to unbox? Shall we? When you are at a price point like this, my expectations are way, 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 way high. So let's start off with the Abracadabra La Palette Refill Case. Yes, that's what it's called. And the two options are Rouge Louboutin and Noir Louboutin. A nice quality case that holds your empty palette. And for a quick comparison, here is what the Louis Vuitton lipstick case looks like. It's very on par with the brand. It does, you know, open up just like the lipstick case. Like that. This is the original in the red and then the other colors come in the gold. And it has the product information. So it's pretty much the same thing with the palettes. On the back you have your information right here and we open it up Ooh. this is very Louis Vuitton in every sense very much so. so inside your box you have the little what are these called like a pillow pin because you know it's interchangeable refillable you just can you know switch things around if you'd like so i'm gonna put that back before i lose it <laughs> But this is what the empty palette looks like. This was a nice little touch. The little signature on the bottom inside of the palette. And you do have a, a nice quality mirror. Now the actual palette is plastic in material, but it's of high quality and construction. And it feels solid in the hand. This is exactly like what the bottom of the sneakers look like. With the Louis Vuitton and the red. Has a nice solid closure to it. Now that's as far as the these compacts open, but you do have control to adjust however you'd like. So that's the first one. And then if you look right here, you'll be able to see exactly what the name is. Now this one is the black case, the Nor Louis Vuitton. 
And I love the contrast on the bottom of this one. Now the packaging is very Louis Vuitton, very on par with the beauty brand and the brand as a whole. There are shoes with these signature spikes, there are bags, there are just many, many products from the line. Everything is cohesive and it goes. Here's a lip definer. Like, where have you ever seen a product like this? Very much goes along with the lip products. They're like little pieces of jewelry, little pieces of art, and the nail polishes. Every piece is very cohesive. Everything is very true to the brand. If you're familiar with Louis Vuitton, then you already know what you have to expect. Outlandish, over the top, extra, just, and very much luxurious. So those are the La Palettes. Now, here are the refills, one for the eyes and one for the face. This is how your little refills come. And on the back, you have lots of information, lots of details, ingredients, made in Italy, shelf life. And then up here is the name. So I have So Privé, which is one of three. Currently, there are three. Now these do contain two blushes and a highlighter. The shade that I have, So Privé, features a pair of satin berry pink and tawny rose blush with an intense gold highlighter for an enhanced color and glow. This is what the actual refill comes in. I'm ready to point out the functionality because I had this in my hand and I'm like, oh gosh, how am I gonna open it? This little spike right here on the front, you can kind of just use that to help you open your palette. So let's go ahead and put in our face palette, just like that. And it's magnetized so it went right in Nicely, beautifully, yes, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's move on to my eyeshadow palette refill. Again, on the back you have your ingredients, your shelf life and details. And here's the one that I got, I got Rose Pigalle. This too, when you unbox, comes with the little instructions and the little plastic case. Everything is nice and sturdy and secure. Now, once you open it up, you do have this little plastic cover, which I I didn't get that in the face one, so add them now. Again, there's a total of three options for the eyeshadow palettes. I went with this one, and this one is described. This is a refillable six eyeshadow palette with buildable and highly pigmented shades in complementary finishes. Matte, shimmer, satin, and metallic to instantly create versatile looks. From casual to sophisticated, from light to bold, or from classic to iconic. So Rose Pagale is an eyeshadow combination of amber rose tones composed of pearly vivid rose, metallic golden light, satin rusty terracotta, metallic dazzling peach, pearly rich brown, and metallic deep rose. This is a beautiful color story. I went with this one in particular because I know that it is something I'm going to reach for and use. And at this price point, that's what I want to do. I want to get something that I know I'll use. <laughs> and this is what the back of your refill looks like as well. All right, let's go ahead and put her in the Rouge Louis Vuitton palette. Right, so just like that. So easy. Oh my God, look. I don't think this is too thick. I think the packaging is just enough and just right. And I'm just going to say this right now. I plan on keeping <laughs> it in my boxes because I feel like it's just nicer for storage. I will say right away, I kind of wish 
these came with a little dust bag. The lip products came with little dust bags. Not a big deal though. I just wanted to point that out. I have to quickly share this with you because I feel like we're being extra bougie today. As, as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I keep smelling myself. I got a new fragrance <laughs> and I can't stand myself. It smells so good. So exotic, sophisticated, and just sexy. I have to share it with you really quick and then we'll get into the demo. And yeah, we're gonna do some comparisons as well because I wanna see how this formula compares to some others that I have in my collection. But you guys, House of Siage is releasing a new fragrance. It smells amazing. I'll put the notes on the screen. But this is the Whisper of Truth Noir. Oh my gosh. Let me show you the, the campaign photo. The owner, she is just... Mm. This truly explains what this smells like. You just smell irresistible. It's amazing. It just smells really, really good. And as, like I said, I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I keep smelling myself because their fragrances are made with top-notch ingredients. This is not a fragrance that's all alcohol that'll dry up and you don't smell it in an hour. This stuff is amazing. I just had to share it with you really quick. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get into the demo. I want to do a couple of looks on my eyes just to show versatility with this palette. I want to do something very bold and dramatic because I definitely feel like we can achieve that with this. And then I want to do something more like an everyday. Something that I would do if I was grabbing the palette and I just wanted to do a nice little look. I am going to start on my face. Now I already have my base makeup applied. I am wearing the La Mer Powder Foundation and my Sicily Concealer. All the products that we talk about today and of course the Christian Louboutin will all be listed and linked for you down below in the description box. But I didn't put on any bronzer yet. So let's do bronzer really quick. I'm grabbing my Westman Atelier Butter Bronzer. This is in the Soleil Riche. Look how cute with the little hearts. Has anyone tried Westman Atelier brushes? I am dying. Like I really wanna try her brushes, but I wanted to get that big set where it was all of the brushes because I found that, I, f I felt like that would have been a really great way to try them, but that thing sold out so fast. <laughs> so again, this is the So Privé palette. So what we'll do for the sake of testing out and trying out and seeing what these products are all about, I will use this highlighter on one side and then I'll use one of the eyeshadows as a highlight on the other side of the face just to show the versatility and such. So I am using a Sonia G mini cheek brush and I'm avoiding touching my little Louis Vuitton. This formula is very, very nice. Do you see how it's just melded into the skin? Ooh. <laughs> so I'm just picking up. No, that was just one time going in the palette. I haven't gone back since. I'm gonna go in again and let's build it up just a little and see how it builds. You guys, I cannot stop smelling myself. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So that is the blush. <laughs> Blushes do have a glow to them, but on the skin, 
Now this, this is a Chikahota brush. It's a little bit more like a traditional blush brush. It's not super dense, but I wanna go into my go-to blush brush, which is Zoe Goss number 14. It's a lot more loosely packed, and I prefer brushes like this for blush because it gives a softer, diffused, deposit of color. So let's try that with this shade here. So I'm just sweeping to pick up. I prefer applying my blush this way, whereas I can control how much flush I have. I can keep it super light like this. Very soft and pretty. Or I can, going back in, picking up some more, and we can build it up very easily. Very nicely. Wow. And you know what? If you didn't want to wear highlight that day, you could totally just do the blush and have a nice glow on your skin and maybe bring it a little tiny bit higher for that lift. Hello. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Let's go into the eyeshadow palette, shall we? I want to use one of these shades as a highlight. Um, where's my brush? Here it is. So I cleaned off my mini cheek from Sonia G. I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's very gold. Yeah, you could definitely use these eyeshadows as highlights. And obviously, depending on your skin tone and your preferences. Definitely very warm and golden on me, but just for you to see what it would look like on the skin. So this is the highlight from the palette, the face palette, with the blush. And then this is the blush and the eyeshadow as highlight on this side of the face. Very nice, very nice. I'm quickly going to prime my eyes with my Chanel Le Base eyeshadow primer. And again, we're gonna create two looks. We're gonna create one very soft and pretty, and then another a little bit more dramatic, you know, dramatic. <laughs> so we can see this palette's versatility and the options and I have to say just based on the color story I feel like there's colors in there that you can do one and done's and be very happy with these palettes let's do some quick swatches off with this shade right here on a fluffy brush again all of the brushes that I'm using are natural hair I'm going to apply that directly in my crease and based on my swatches I didn't I don't have any mattes in this palette but that doesn't mean we can't create a full eye look blending very nicely it's not overly sparkly which is nice. I feel like this one is a little, this shade is a little bit more on the satin. So you're not gonna get too much of a sparkle on the eye, which is nice for using it as a transition. So just nicely blending that. And I haven't gone back in. And I have to say, it's giving a nice soft wash on the eye. I'm touching back in a little bit to just build that intensity in the crease. This shade, I can just say it right now, will make a beautiful one and done. I love it. <laughs> so this eye is gonna be our more dramatic look eye. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the darkest shade here and I'm gonna use that same fluffy brush and I'm going to build on the outer eye 
and blend it inward. So I'm just patting to build. This shade has glitter particles in it, but they blend really nicely and it's not scattering or making it muddy. I like that. So I'm not blending this darker shade all the way in the crease. I'm keeping it on the outer portion of the eye. Now my technique whenever I'm doing more dramatic looks is to always go with less and build. And this is doing that quite nicely. Wow, look at that. These are blending very nicely. So I just cleaned that brush off and I'm just blending so that everyone is melded and diffused together nicely. I'm gonna go into this shade with my finger. I look at this shade, isn't it so pretty? And I'm going to place that on the lid. Wow. I'm keeping this on the center portion because I do wanna go in with another color just so that we can test out as many of the shadows as possible. Wow. Now I'm just cleaning off my finger so that I can blend these two colors together so we don't have any harshness. Now for the beginning portion of my lid, I wanna go into this shade. I found this shade to be very sparkly so I feel like it'll be nice in that area. So I'm just taking a little on my brush. Yeah, this is not as intense with a brush. See, it's a little bit more sparkly, I wanna say. I feel like this shade will give you a ton of fallout. So I'm being very precise and careful with it. I just take my finger actually and just Blend the two colors together. And then I'm gonna to touch up on this shade, which was the center shade. Now I don't have a shade in here that I would use as a brow bone highlight, so. So I'm going back into my face palette and I'm gonna use that center shade as my brow bone highlight. With a pencil brush, I'm going into the darkest, and let's try this shade as well on the lower lash line. So the darkest I'll keep on the outermost portion and connect. And then I'll go into this shade here. my Louboutin eye pencil. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. <laughs> Again, it'll all be listed and linked for you down below. It's a dark brown color. I'm going to use that to create a little wing and I'm going to put some in the waterline. <laughs> so for this next look, we're going to do it a little bit softer. We're going to do something that if I were to reach for this palette, it would be what I would wear just for a quick and easy, something soft and pretty, a little bit more daytime wearable. Not, listen, this is wearable in the daytime, excuse me, but you know what I mean, <laughs> something a little softer. So I'm going to start off with this shade right here. It's a little bit lighter of a pink. Hello, focus, thank you. Um, this shade here, it's lighter than this pink, but it's still in that wheelhouse of colors. I'm just taking that. We're going to just apply that all over the lid. Whatever's left on the brush, just blending in my crease. Now, this shade has some shimmer particles. So let's see how that looks when I blend it. Oh, that's soft and pretty and pink. Ooh. Taking a clean brush, 
I'm just going to blend in my crease to diffuse and leave it soft and blended. With my pencil brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here, put that on my lower lash line. This is a nice combo together. These two colors, very pretty. What a pretty quick literal one and done so pretty so i'm going to take my louis vuitton eye pencil i'm going to do a soft little wing do my lashes i'll be right back all right so here we are we have louis vuitton on the face and the eyes so for this look definitely my more dramatic look and then this look right here, let me fix my lash. Ugh. And then this look right here, a beautiful one and done. A very easy wearable look. This is what my eye palette looks like after I've used it. And this is what the face palette looks like after I've used it. So for comparisons, I pulled Tom Ford's Mercurial. This is a wet dry formula. I have one shade in Mercurial, well, maybe two, I think are a little comparable, but just based on like texture, they're different. So Mercurial from Tom Ford and Louis Vuitton. That's probably the closest color I have in my collection. I was looking at the other shades in the Mercurial in comparison. They are not, yeah. The Louboutin's a lot more golden. The Mercurial is a lot more champagne-y. Now again, if you like Tom Ford's wet dry formula, these are quite comparable. They're different, but they're comparable. They're not the same. I'm not here to even try to do that, okay? <laughs> Reflex Guilt from Tom Ford and then the Louboutin. I felt like the highlighting portion of this was worth comparing. Feeling the texture, you can feel they're very smooth and it's gonna give you that high shine. Uh, maybe the Louis Vuitton and the lighter version on the Tom Ford are a little similar. Here's Mood Light from Tom Ford. I'm going to just swatch the lighter shade yeah, that's a lot lighter. I'm going to swatch it over there. Yeah. So these three up here are Tom Ford and this is the Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna swatch this gold from Flickr from Tom Ford. So Flickr and the Louis Vuitton. Flickr is definitely more that yellow gold, but the formulation is comparable. Looking in the palette, I'm going to say maybe this shade is a little more comparable to the Dior. So let's swatch this from Louis Vuitton and then this one from Dior. Uh, the Louis Vuitton has such a beautiful glow. I mean, the Dior does too, but it's different. <laughs> so here's a Louis Vuitton and then here's Dior. Yeah, no. This Louis Vuitton blush formula is very, very beautiful. Let's see what Fleur de Pontem is cooking. I'm gonna do the, yeah. I mean, this is more like a highlighting blush duo from Chanel, but you can mix them together and create a very glowy type of blush. So let's see. Yeah, you see, the Louis Vuitton still has that beautiful glow. Le Chains, I feel, is more comparable to this darker. I feel like, okay, we're getting warmer. We're getting warmer. <laughs> you see that? Louis Vuitton and the Chanel Le Chains. See, that's what I'm talking about with that formula. Ooh. And here's a Louis Vuitton. And here is Le Chains. The Le Chains 
I think of the collection besides the Tom Ford is really close and similar with the blush products. Now with the highlighter, here's the Dior backstage. Yeah, no, these, just the feel. I mean, you do have, they're very high shine and metallic and beautiful, but in comparison to the Louis Vuitton, let me show you. Those are the top three lightest shades from the Dior palette, these three. And then that's the Louis Vuitton. You could see they're all high shine. But I think this peach one, the one that I use most, is most comparable. So that's the Dior. Louis Vuitton has got a lot more glow to her. Not that the Dior doesn't, but just in comparison, side by side. Yeah. Overall, I had a good experience, a, a true luxurious experience from start to finish. Unboxing, the actual products. Through and through, I had a good luxurious experience. The actual formulations and color stories and performance did exceptionally well. Yes, this color story can be duplicated. Okay, the formulation, mm, not everybody has a nice, beautiful formula like this. I'm just going to put that out there. You have one and done options. You have dramatic look options. You have options. What I will say is just like the spiked heels, this is not going to be for everybody. I am combo skin, but this portion of my face is more on the drier end. Bringing this glow back, it's not too much. It's just enough. Very sophisticated glow on the skin. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful and performed really nicely. You know, you saw for yourself. <laughs> I am so curious to know what you guys are thinking. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And you guys, I smell so good today. <laughs> <laughs> always so grateful when you come and you hang out with me thank you so much don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't stay beautiful guys i will see you very very soon bye <laughs>